Hi there, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to WesternPacificWeather.com here today on the 8th of October 2011. As we look across the region today, though, there is one area that does stand out pretty significantly, and that is this area of low pressure over top of the Philippines right now. Actually, the Philippines uh, Meteorological Agency down there, or Bagasa, issuing a low pressure area on this about 70 kilometers south of Legaspi City. And currently, it is moving off towards the west very slowly, but one thing they do stress in it is that it does bring the risk of flash flooding and landslides out here, specifically across southern Luzon, down towards Visayas and northern Mindanao. We're just recently, in the past two weeks, two typhoons, one a super typhoon, plus consistent monsoonal rains have plugged the entire area, causing over 100 deaths, actually, just from those two typhoons alone. And also, over one or over $9.1 billion in agricultural damage across Luzon right now, and that's just agriculture alone, not to mention the damage caused to people's homes out there. So, this area of low pressure, not that strong overall in intensity, but as it moves across on this monsoonal belt right in here, it's going to bring some more rain. It already is actually with over 100 millimeters reported across much of Visayas here, actually Lete, uh, seeing over 107 millimeters of rainfall, and I'm sure this is mounts are going to increase out here as we get more reports uh, in the coming day. But really right now though, just looking at this visible imagery, it does have a fair good circulation around it. It's located under a low amount of vertical wind shear, and as you can see right in here, a good amount of inflow coming in from south and from from the west. The one thing that's inhibiting tropical development of this system right now is the fact that it is located directly over the Philippines right here. Actually, a center of circulation right out in here over Visayas. So overall, though, this circulation is really getting disrupted by the mountains, but it still is getting a lot of moisture fed into it, and that is why you're going to see those flash floods continue out there across the Philippines as this moisture moves across the islands. But behind that, though, there looks like there is going to be a little bit of clearing, actually, if we go on to the early part of next week. You see the clear sky start to clear up as that area of low pressure moves over the South China Sea. It is expected to get more disrupted and not develop into a significant tropical system at this time. Actually, JTWC not issuing even a low area on this, but they do have a low area on this area just southwest of Guam. And if here, if we look at the one particular model GFS here, you see that by the mid part of next week, it starts to develop with a closed circulation and moves out towards Visayas. Now, it looks like a possibility of a weak development with this system nothing to panic about at this time but if it was to develop it would take a track directly off towards the west following this area of low pressure over the Philippines and along the southern periphery of the high pressure up here towards the north but just looking at the IR image right in here it's not really developed that much at this time it is under some low vertical wind shear out there but really it's overall organization and the overall convection associated with it has dissipated over the past 24 hours but we're gonna keep a close eye on that still also looking out here across the Ryukyu Islands concluding Okinawa, you are seeing some cloudy skies today associated with a trough there. But the rest of uh, the region out here from Korea over to Japan, continuing to see that strong area of high pressure, which if we took a look at the KMA analysis out here, it is producing widespread fog out here across much of eastern China right now. Actually, if you watch the movement of the cursor here, you do see this clockwise circulation coming around this high pressure. Well, that's because warm moist air is going to be running over these cooler land masses out here, producing advection fog, or we call it. And that's really going to cause these really intense and thick fogs. And you look at some of these dew points out here, 15 for the temperature, 12 for the dew point, 17, 13, but over here, 13, 11. That means dew point and temperature are close together, thus the air is almost close to saturation. So a little weather analysis there for you. But really, we're going to continue to see this weather, fair weather out here across much of the region as this high pressure continues to settle. And looking south to Australia here in New South Wales is seeing some rain showers from that same area of low pressure that brought you some severe thunderstorms down in uh, country Victoria yesterday. But otherwise, the Australian highs can continuing to dominate out here in the dry season. I know there's some reports of drought up here across Queensland. Well, really doesn't look like any relief in sight. You do have one maritime low running across southern Australia and eventually going to hit over here in Tasmania, bringing some rain showers, but nothing looking like on the severe side. But thanks again for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them in the comment box below. And I hope you have a great day out there. Stay safe.